some disputable news that came through yesterday on the timeline, but uh, I feel like there's a lot of intended takedown things being thrown at Deion Sanders in the Colorado football program right now. And I think many of them are deserved. And then some of them are just a little out there. I don't know where this one falls on the spectrum. Hopefully you can help me figure that out. But uh, the report was that Deion Sanders has instructed the Colorado band that they cannot play the Colorado fight song when a touchdown is scored in a football game because they need to play Shador Sanders' song when Shador throws a touchdown. It is the Shador show, the Shador song, the Shador touchdowns, not Colorado football celebrations. Uh, That was written in like a very serious publication. I think it was Sports Illustrated or something like that. That, Yeah, yeah, like in-depth, like expose, like, Dion is all about his son and that's it here. Uh, apparently there are sources, including Sh- Shador's brother, the other son who say this is not true at all. I don't know the validity of it or not, Dion, yeah. but uh, do you like this? Do you not like this? What do you make of it? Yeah. So it was, um, it was Dion Sanders jr. He like, uh, you know, I'm gonna be honest. Like I, I'm assuming that's his brother. I don't, I, <laughs> I know he's the guy behind the camera for well off media. Uh, shout out them love the videos by the way um but um he responded to one of the reports and he just goes come on now dot 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 like i don't i I, i'm not saying it isn't true i I, you know what i mean that that, like they play the rap song instead of the fight song i think we're getting to the point where it's like why do we want Deion sanders to be a bad coach so bad you know what I mean? Like, what? Well, like, why? Why do we want that? Because if we're being completely honest, if anyone else goes to Colorado, turns a one-win team to a four-win team, and then the next year, you know, they're one and one going into what is it, week, week, week three? Mm-hmm. Um, like we're talking about them as if like they're the next great coach, right? That's an insane turnaround. Like, literally one of the worst rosters in the country two, four wins in a season where they probably should have won more games if they had health. And obviously like they don't look great this year, but they still look much better than the team he inherited. Um, I think we're just getting to the point where like, we just want this to be a dumpster fire so bad that we're willing to just pull like it. This is a reach. I I guess that's my thing. This is a reach. It may be a reach. It also may be true though. Right. (laughs) It's, like I, it this maps for me as something the Sanders family would collectively say has to happen while they're doing this, and that alone is kind of crazy. I think I I hear you on like maybe we've swung too far as a society on preying on Deion Sanders' downfall. Uh, yeah. You and I have never been in that category by the way i can proudly say we've been rooting for Deion sanders every step of the way often to our own detriment in a lot of football games but uh i think the the one thing i would just answer quickly that you asked is like why are we rooting so much for Deion and them to fail i know why because these dudes are assholes 90 percent of the time and i'm not saying that doesn't make you a good football coach but like shador throwing his offensive line under the bus People are going to root against you for that. Exactly. Dion throwing the ball up six with five seconds left just to pad his son's stats. People are going to root that. against you for that. Like, nah. you, you, right. And you and I are, are we're, I love that. we're alone, right? We're on the Dion <laughs> island liking that. But I, I just, I think they have earned a lot of the people preying on their downfall with behavior that makes people believe a story like this, even if it's not true. Um, mm-hmm. Now, some of that is just going to come with superstardom and make no mistake, Shador's a superstar, but I don't know. I guess this is just kind of another point, even if it's not true or not, like everything with the Sanders family right now, it's just another point for people to put against Mm -hmm. them and people to pray for them to fail. Now, now I want to say I agree on Shador, right? Like I, I, you know, I said on the recap, everybody should go watch that. I'm fully out on Shador. His behavior is insane to me. I don't think Deion Sanders should be defined as a coach based off his son's actions. Um, I've kind of, you know, like I kind of, I kind of say this all the time. Like all of us, I, I said the same thing about LeVar Ball. Um, all of us would want to coach our son um, in the manner that Deion Sanders is getting the opportunity to coach his son in, right? Like that's the dream scenario. And unfortunately as a father, you're far more likely to overlook a lot of the stuff that, 
you know, if, if Shadur wasn't his son, I don't, I genuinely don't think Deion Sanders would want this to be the behavior of his team. I watch all the content they put out on their uh, YouTube channels. It's not Deion Sanders. Like this isn't his, his persona is his persona, right? There's prime and then there's Deion. But like, I think Deion Sanders, the football coach wants to do something completely different than what Colorado currently is. Now his son's the quarterback, his son's the superstar. You kind of buy into the superstar role. Genuinely, I do think they've improved the team a lot and you do have to give them credit for that. But Shader has gone too far. And I, it, to me, the reason I know Shader has gone too far, I want, I'm, we're both body language guys. I don't think Travis wants to play for him anymore. And well, yeah. that's where I think, it, like, I think that to me is where it's like, all right, man, like this is too much, right? Like, you there's two players on this team that are good essentially and one of the two doesn't want to play with the other person yeah um so i really don't know like um i i don't know where they go from this but i i i guess i also don't know how fair it is to to like it, if you're telling me shadur said hey don't play the fight song play my rap song that makes sense if you're telling me Deion sanders said that i don't know if i buy that yeah no, I, I guess my only pushback on all this, I agree with 90% of what you're saying, is just at the end of the day, as is true with all coaches in college sports, mostly football and basketball, but definitely football, the head coach is defined by what the team ends up doing and behaving like. So even if this sure. isn't what Dion wants to be happening, like mm -hmm. he was in charge of building the roster he mm -hmm. didn't go get an offensive line. He mm -hmm. like, and, and I know it's Colorado. Maybe there's limitations there. There wouldn't be at Florida state, but at the same time, like he, he, it doesn't seem like he has prioritized much of anything that has helped his son. He's prioritized his son. And uh, obviously having Travis Hunter there helps his son. But as you mentioned, I don't think Travis even wants to be there anymore. And outside of Travis Hunter, there is not much on the Colorado football roster that helps Shador Sanders at all. So I think like, even if we say, oh, he wishes things were different. The other day it was his responsibility for things to be different. And he's pretty clearly pointedly failed at this point. Right. I will say this in terms of building a roster, right? Like, the reason I give him so much credit for this turnaround is like, let's keep in mind in the world of NIL, right? The world where the players dictate everything financially. This is a university that openly said, hey, we don't have the money for Deion Sanders contract right now. We gave him a contract that we can't pay at the moment. And he was the one that fixed that, right? Like he brought the eyeballs. He brought all this stuff to where they could actually pay his contract. Like, I don't personally believe this, it, the University of Colorado, based on the stuff that's happened in before Deion Sanders in, in this buildup, is ready to have a football program of this magnitude, right? Like, Deion Sanders is bigger than the University of Colorado right now, which is why, like, I do think, like, Florida State would be able to pay his contract and then some. Deion Sanders does not have, like, a massive deal. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he didn't sign the Lincoln-Riley contract. He signed, like, a very reasonable head coaching contract. I think it's, like, four or five million per year or something like that. Um, and they flat out said, like, hey, we can't pay him right now. So he had to be the one to go get, like, the, the, the university all the money to pay for it. And he's done that tenfold with everything that he's brought in. So I, I don't know. Like, I, I, it's a give and a take, right? Like, um, but I, I just, I don't know if I define Deion Sanders by Shadir. I think they're very, very, very different people. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Can we play a quick game of, would you rather have Deion Sanders than this coach? I would love to do that, actually. It, it, and does the, in this game, does the university matter? Because, you, you know, I'm a, I'm a listener before anything, and I've seen Card get tricked up in these games yeah. very often. You see, this is why you're so prepared. This is what I need to prepare for. When you sub in for Cart when he goes on maternity <laughs> leave, uh, I'm not going to be able to throw as many games at you for entertainment value because you're going to shut them down right away. Okay, so he, I, for this purpose, I'm going to give you a coach, and I want you to envision would the school – would they take Dion at this school in place of this coach? So if I okay. give you the the Michigan football program, it would be Dion Sanders running Michigan versus Sharon Moore running Michigan. Okay, so we'll start with that one. If you're Michigan, would you rather have Dion than Sharon Moore? Uh, the boosters would prefer Dion to Sharon Moore. 
this is very much so like Terrence Shannon trying to go to Michigan. Uh, the academics are going to turn that one down. <laughs> okay, so if if Michigan wouldn't prove for, for Dion here, I think I know where this is headed. Uh, Ole Miss, would you rather have Lane Kiffin or Deion Sanders? I'm a Lane guy. I think Lane's the best coach in the country, so no. Georgia, would you rather have Kirby Smart or Deion Sanders? Kirby. Clemson, would you rather have Dabo Sweeney or Deion yeah. Sanders? Do you take Deion at Clemson? Mm-hmm. Uh, it, the world of NIL, the world of the portal, Clemson's got to be sick of like, hey, we <laughs> of this like Dabo stuff, man. Like that, that, that school is too big to be performing the way they're performing. LSU, you taking Brian Kelly or, or Dion? Dion, because everything Brian Kelly's trying to do is what Dion's doing. Like he wants to have that swag and aura at LSU and he just can't do it. Okay. All right, that's so you're giving more Dion answers than I thought you would going through this exercise. Honestly, I, I to be quite frank, I gave way less than I thought I would. <laughs> my conclusion from this is that if I ever fail at anything miserably, I need you to be my PR guy through it all. I got you. I got you. If, if you're failing is a three win upgrade, like <laughs> that's a pretty good failure. <laughs> Football season is here. Money is out there to be had in the form of winning bets. And our friends at MyBookie want to make it easy for you to do just that. Yeah, and coming into football season, you're going to have games all weekend happening everywhere. And Gregory, where is the only place that Sleepers Media places all bets? I can tell you right now, since last February, February 1st to be exact, MyBookie is the only place that I have placed a sports bet. I love MyBookie. They make it easy. They get you quick payouts. They have awesome promo offers. In fact, Card, they've got one right now that football fans everywhere and listeners of this show are going to want to take advantage of. Yeah, using promo code SLEEPERS, that's promo code SLEEPERS, you can take advantage of a 50% instant deposit bonus right now. That's 50% instant deposit bonus up to $1,000. Over at my bookie, use promo code sleepers and happy betting. Home dogs aren't dogs, they're wolves. Arr- I'm trying to flip that into like sport, like home sports books aren't books, they're novels. We'll work on it. That didn't work. Go my bookie promo code sleepers.